Yeah. What's going on, everybody? We're back with another one, and today is just gonna be like a little, um, like a review of a product that a company sent me to, you know, put on the truck and give it a review. Uh, oh, I didn't link any. But yeah, let me show you what we got going on. It actually rained earlier. I'll call you back in a minute, Brad. Um, and I was thinking this thing was gonna leak because it was really windy. It didn't leak at all. And you see the gaps up there. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, maybe being that it's not at the back where the cracks are. Because yeah, I mean, see a lot of water don't really get here. I mean, I'm sure some will make its way there, but yeah, I mean, for the price point, I think these run right at 200 bucks, 200 bucks. Um, Yada Motor, that's the brand. I mean, all in all, it's a solid product. Um, like I said, I mean, that's my only concern was that. And then I had trouble with, uh, let me see if I can get a better view. Yeah, this latching, lot, geez, can I talk? This latching mechanism here, this was a pain too. And it, it felt like it wasn't long enough at first when I first put it on, but a little finagling um, and they went right together. It, it, you know, for the price, like I'm saying, 200 bucks, you can't beat it. You can't beat it. And I think it looks great. I mean, it's, it looks pretty solid. I mean, I get if you was paying 700 bucks and you had cracks like that at the top where you could see daylight, I get it. Then that would be a problem. But 200 bucks, you really can't complain much. I, like I said, I've, this is my first one I've ever put on a truck. So I don't know if that's, you know, I don't know how long it's going to last. I can't tell you that. But as far as, you know, putting it on and the price and, you know, all the bad things, there's not really many bad things. And, yeah, I mean, I think it turned out great. I still need to adjust. Man, if the phone would focus right here. I still need to adjust these brackets here um, and bring this side in just a little bit, the railing. Because um, I don't think this side's completely latched. Let me show you why because it you see it's not supposed to come up and it's not sound like it's latching see on this side here i must have got this one in there good because it's it's not coming up um and it don't flap in the wind so you don't have to worry about it flopping and flouncing in the back when you're going down the road because i made a video earlier about it i was gonna try to upload but it was so windy um and i just deleted it and i said i'm gonna come back over here and make another one that way that wind noise ain't killer but yeah, I mean, they make these for any kind of truck you got, um, any bed length. Um, and they're actually the company that sent me the running boards that were on the, the 21, the white uh, Z71 I had. That's where the running boards come from, this company here. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Did it turn out good? You know, if I had to somebody asked me what i recommended i would honestly for the price i mean just the price alone you're not gonna find another one for 200 bucks that you know looks as good i don't think i've not done a lot of shopping and searching around but i think that's a pretty good price 200 bucks and it was well packaged and it came in pretty quick i think the the dude sent me the shipping number like sunday night and it's here already um it come from i think texas it was but you can order these offline, uh, Amazon. So that's always a good thing. I like ordering stuff from Amazon because they're pretty quick on the shipping. But yeah, I think it turned out great, man. I, I think it, I think it really makes the truck look good now. And I got some other stuff coming for the truck this week. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. It's gonna be a surprise, but it's from Boost Auto. Just to give you a little hint, and it's gonna be on the outside of the truck. Um, I think it's really going to set the the whole look of the truck up. I think it's really going to make the front of the truck pop, which it already does now. I get compliments on the truck on the daily now. Um, yeah, so once we get the stuff from that company in, it's going to be a sponsorship video as well. They're sending me the product out to try. Um, but yeah, after we get the next set of stuff that comes in on and then the rock lights we're going to do the exhaust i'm still not sure 
if I want to wait and get a bumper, that way I can do my own tips. Because I don't know. I don't really like the HDMI ports. What do you guys think? Do y'all like the HDMI ports on these things? Because I'm not a fan of them. It's just not loud enough with those. Like, you could straight pipe it. Like, my white truck was straight pipe, true duels, all the way back. And it just wasn't loud enough for me, man. Like, the Ford, it wasn't even true dueled. It was into a muffler, single end dual out, and it was way louder than the, the straight pipe Z71 I had, which, you know, those 5.0s are typically louder anyways, but that's beside the point. <clears throat> but, yeah. Let me know what you guys think, because I won't keep rambling on to make this video a 30-minute video for nothing. Um, I think it turned out great. Like I said, it just rained, and the wind was blowing stupid crazy fast earlier, and it's it didn't leak, so that's always a plus. Well, let me know what you guys think. I'm still really liking these tires, man. The tires are still, they're still good. I know people were telling me about this illuminated emblem that it was leak, it leak and then go out. I haven't seen anything yet, fingers crossed, because that was 400 bucks. But yeah, let me know what you guys think, man. How does it make the truck look? I think it makes it look really good now. Just gotta get that windshield tinted. And then another thing that I'm thinking about doing is getting the color matched wheel well liners here. And I can order them from the GMC accessory store for like 900 bucks. They're already painted, color matched, all that good stuff. Um, so once I get the parts from that other company in so I can put them on, the rock lights, the exhaust, then I'm probably going to do those. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, that that might be it for a little bit, you know. I might change setups. I know people have been asking me, do I want to trade setups? I'm, I'm going to ride on these graps for a little bit longer because they're... Man, this thing just looks so beefy on the graps. Let me know what you guys think. Should we trade setups for something bigger? So we go to like 24s or 26s? Or should we keep the, the 20s and graps? Because I'm a fan of them, man. They ride really well. You wouldn't think they would be, but they ride really, really, really well. I mean, they're loud, but they're, they're smooth. Which I'd rather have smooth and loud rather than <laughs> bumpy and quiet you know um but yeah i'm gonna quit rambling on like i said if y'all enjoyed this video hit that like button subscribe i know we're closing in on about 800 subscribers now so that's always cool as well um <clears throat> but yeah that's that's gonna do it for this video um let me go ahead and get headed home but yeah Thanks for tuning in. That's going to do it for this one. Peace.